So it looks like we're ready for Raleigh, but before we are getting to that one, I have one more donation. I have a 5 euro donation from Momococo saying, I can't give much, but I hope this helps. All the small things help, so thank you for the donation. And we're straight heading to Raleigh, so good luck, Jelly! Okay, so <laughs> I'm back, and I'm going to be playing another Pico 8 game. This one's called Rolly. It's relatively new compared to, I think, almost any game at BSG this year. And ever since I played it, I just fell in love, and it was already too late to submit it officially, so hey, lucky. <laughs> so if I have a countdown, I can start the game, so... So, Rolly is a very small platformer, and as you may already see, um, after a jump, you have the option to do a sort of rolling dash, very similar to the original Celeste. And we're gonna be able to, uh, we're gonna use that mechanic not just to actually get through the stages, but to get through them fast. So, the goal of the game is to actually get four ticky friends. I'm not really sure what the story on it is, but that's basically what we're gonna do. Um, there's four areas. We went to the bottom right one. And mostly, um, I'll just be explaining the actual mechanics right now, I guess. So you have these um, gray blocks, I suppose. Um, if you'd roll into them, you, they actually get destroyed, but you also get boosted away. And in a casual run, that would mean that's where you die. Um, since I'm a runner, I basically know exactly where to take that roll. Um, these white platforms will actually uh, bounce you off if you roll into them. And finally, you have that key. The key is important to actually save your friends. There's a few skips I've been doing here and there, but it's a bit too fast to properly explain them. Oh. Um, when you do the... Ouch. When you do the bounce mid-air, you actually get a slight boost uh, upwards. Ooh, and that's a scary... <laughs> that's a scary boost to take. But... Overall, um... There's a lot of very small movement choices you can make to get through this game very quickly, even though it's still a bit risky because, well, if you try it casually, you will notice that you are going to die quite a bit in every of these screens. So that was the first one. We got the Tiki friend from the chest and we're bringing it back to the main menu or main hub. Do we have time for a donation? Absolutely. We have 15 euros from Slimmy the Kid with no comments, so thank you for that donation. Yeah, thank you. Like I said earlier, every donation helps. Um, we're moving on to the next stage. Every stage, oh, every stage has um, somewhat similar mechanics. Like it doesn't change like completely, but they all have a different motif. In this one, it's mostly about using these black orbs to double jump, and you can actually choose two types of double jumps: either a high jump or a straight one. Straight one actually gets more horizontal di distance, whereas the high one obviously gives you more height. And you need to do, uh, on that section for example, on this section you basically need to do really um, somewhat precise high jumps. And not actually jump into that spike. Oh. I still think we, we're allowed to get <laughs> Uh, these mistakes. Oh, yes. There's a minor skip you could do there, but that's actually very risky. One of the most risky threats in the game, and um, even some of the more newer runners don't do it. So there you have our new ticky friend. As you may notice, he's actually following us, and that brings us to the main menu again for the last two s uh, sections of the game. Um, I'll be doing the bottom left one now. And in this one, it's all about the b bouncing on the white matter. 
actually that's a minor skip otherwise it's pretty lengthy that section just roll your way through everything and oh um, these yellow-ish totem poles, I think, they actually let you save, so make very short checkpoints. I'll skip some of them, but most of them are just um, very useful to actually save, because you can die very quickly in this game, as you may have noticed. Oh, do take the jumps, please. Okay, so I think... If we're lucky, we can get this small skip here. No? Ooh. That was close. And that was far off. <laughs> I am honest, you know. Ooh. You know what? We're just gonna take it. Ooh, I should have jumped there. I'll just take this on a more natural route. Or not. Okay, I'll just try this one more time and then we're doing it. <laughs> ah. Casual route. <laughs> there we go. Runner, something screwing up? No way. <laughs> uh, that bra that jumps can be kind of scary. Let's see. I'm glad I didn't say that I'd uh, donate for every death on this one. <laughs> Very happy with that. Of course, everything was first try, yes. Do I, I have time for one more donation before I leave? Of course. We have a free dollar, uh, free dollar, free euro <laughs> anonymous donation. <Real> money. <laughs> <laughs> that just said, I hate odd numbers. So now we're even. Anyway, I'm gonna practice MKWE. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> So thanks for those American money. <laughs> uh, this is going to be the final section, so... Let's see... Ouch. Oh, I have to do that again. No way. So what happened there was I stuck to the wall. And that actually prevented me from actually rolling off. So let's see if we can actually stay off the wall this time. So we saved our friends and then that, that's time for me to say that time is probably coming up after I get to the bottom right there. So time. Here you can see our, uh, we're giving our fourth friend. And as you see, Rolly is happy. Um, 35 deaths. So yeah. Hopefully this was my actual last run of the, uh, of the marathon. Uh, there's a few. <laughs> oh god, Final Fantasy 10. <laughs> so yeah um thanks for having me again thanks shabby orange you've been donating like crazy these past few hours um anyone on the couch want to say add anything nope then i think we're done <laughs>